Hello, my name is Mark Dolinar. I'm an applications engineer here with Hawk Ridge Systems. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can utilize equations to help automate your designs within SolidWorks. For this particular demonstration, I'm going to be working with this conveyor belt assembly. And what I ultimately want to end up creating are multiple configurations depending on the length of my conveyor belt. However, for my particular design, I only require these middle supports if the conveyor belt is longer than 10 feet. If it's less than 10 feet, I want to make sure that these are suppressed to help save cost in my design. Now I could go through and manually create configurations and choose to manually suppress or unsuppress individual features depending on if they meet my design requirements. However, I'm going to go ahead and let SOLIDWORKS do some of that work for me by automating my design by using equations. The first thing I'm going to do before I even jump into my equations manager is group all of the individual features in which I want to have suppressed into one individual folder. By doing this, this will save me time while writing equations because I only have to write equations for one individual folder. Once done with this, I can go over here to my tools drop down menu and then choose my equations tab. Now this brings up my equations manager and this is a very valuable tool if you ever want to automate your design. We'll notice right here we have three individual rows. We have global variables, features, and equations. Global variables will help to tie a particular numeric value to a letter. Features will help you to suppress or unsuppress a feature depending on if it meets your equation requirements. And equations are what you can go through and derive individual numeric values from either global variables or other dimensions inside of your design. What we're going to go ahead and do is create a brand new feature in which we would like to have suppressed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the features row and then choose my middle support folder. Once here, we'll see that we have the ability to go through and write our own equation based on a couple of different parameters. In our case, I'm going to jump into my functions tab and we'll see that inside the functions tab, there's a couple of different functions I can use. I'm going to go ahead and choose to create an if then statement. And for this particular if then statement, I'm going to be driving this directly from the total length of my conveyor belt. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and select on the conveyor belt itself, go ahead and delete the conveyor belt feature, and just choose that one particular dimension. Once that dimension has been selected, I can create my if then statement. And in my particular case, I want to make sure that if it's greater than 120 inches, this individual feature is going to be unsuppressed. However, if it's less than 120 inches, I would like it to be suppressed. We can go ahead and push OK, and we'll notice that it automatically evaluates to whatever value it currently sits at. I'll go ahead and push OK for my Equations Manager folder and create a brand new configuration, and this time around, I'll create a configuration that's called the 8-foot. For my particular 8-foot version of my conveyor belt, we'll jump directly back into my 3D sketch, choose the total length, and add an 8-foot dimension to this one particular configuration. Once we've completed this and done a quick rebuild, we'll actually notice that SolidWorks will automatically suppress those middle supports for us. This is going to help to automate our design and prevent possible mistakes from happening in the future. I hope you liked this video. And please make sure to like and subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube page for more educational content such as this.